Hi everybody, this is Noelle from Petites and we are talking about ways to naturally feed the birds for the winter. And we think it's just a great activity to do with the entire family. Everybody can work with the materials that we have here today and just have fun, be together. Um, and it's a great activity to especially watch through the windows kind of tear yourself away from the TV, the phones, and all of those screens, and um, watch you know the, the fun outside with the birds. So needless to say, to start out with, um, you can use a lot of household materials, and I should say foodstuffs, uh, that you can use to feed the birds around. Um, and so to start with, I think I'm gonna start with this garland here. This is simply just garland that has been strung on um, cotton thread, okay? And it is literally just fresh cranberries, some air popped popcorn, no salt, no butter, nothing, just air popped popcorn, okay? And then slices of oranges that are strung through this garland. So we made about five to six foot lengths of garland and this is gonna be a great treat for the birds, especially when you can use fruit that will last out there for quite some time, but you can use apples, you can use bananas, you can use grapes. Obviously cranberries and oranges are really good as well to string or hang up by twine and just go ahead and decorate a tree outdoors. The other thing that we decided to do, it's a really easy project for the whole family, is taking pine cones because we tend to walk around the yard, collect them, throw them in a bag, and then what do we do with them afterwards? Well, we usually use them for decorating, but this is a really easy craft that you can do, is go ahead and take a pine cone, you can um, dip it in or cover it with either peanut butter, it could be crunchy or plain, or if there are nut allergies, then you can use just Crisco or a type of shortening, I should say. Um, it doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be Crisco. And you can go ahead and roll the pine cone in that sticky substrate, so peanut butter or shortening. And then go ahead and after it's totally covered, you can go ahead and roll it into bird seed. We think a mixed bird seed is really the way to go, especially a bird seed that has a high percentage of your striped oil uh, sunflower seed and your black oil sunflower seed here. So you can kind of see all the variations of seed, a little bit of uh, millet and other things as well. But the, all these pine cones, after you're done rolling them in the seed, all you have to do is take some twine. I just made a little slip knot. I just slid it right over the top of the pine cone, tightened it, and now we've got a way to tie it onto branches. We, of course, could tie these two ends, pre-tie them so we have a loop, and then we can go ahead and just hang them on a tree as well for a natural bird feeder. The last thing that's really, really easy is um, in the wintertime, we always have a lot of citrus available, lots of different types. And so slices of citrus are really great food for the birds, your winter songbirds again. And um, you literally could just throw some twine right through a slice of orange and go ahead and hang those up as well. Sometimes you see these dried or dehydrated. That's okay if you wanna dehydrate them. But again, fresh slices of orange work very nicely. You can even use um, orange or grapefruit rinds if you have a cup um, that you've eaten the flesh out of. You can fill that cup up with seed and also string that up. So that's just a different idea for a bird feeder. So again, three really easy things to do at home. Great for the whole family. Great for those winter birds out there. They need food for sure. So if you can get out, do the indoor craft uh, with the family and then go outside and go ahead and decorate um, some trees outside with your bird food. That's always a great thing to do together. Enjoy.